Hi, I'm Peter Kahnström of Kahnström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll continue my demonstration on quotes. As you have seen, I've created a document library. I've attached that to a content type. Uh, you'll notice that if I go into library settings here now, I will have received all the columns that are connected to the Contoso quote content type, but those are not available in the view. So I actually do need to modify the view so that I can see those values there. And of course, it's also a good idea to create new views to see the approved quotes and so on. But for now, I'm just going to add the quote date, quote approval, quote decision date, and the quote value. And I'll remove the modified and modified by because they're not really interesting in this case. And also, I'm going to add a total for the quote value, sum. And um, there we go. So you do need to create your views or modify your views based on the content type. Let's just create one more view here and start that by using the existing view. Because if I start by using the all documents one, I get the total there also. Approved. And um, then I'm going to filter that by only showing the ones that are have the quote approval is equal to yes. So in a previous demo, I also created a Gantt view and a calendar view. I'm not going to do those again, but I just wanted to show you that you do need to recreate your views here. Now, when I create a new item here, you'll notice that this opens up in Word, not Word Online. And by default, I get this document information panel showing. So I can select the, of course it's undecided, I can select the quote date uh, and the quote decision date and all those things. I can also fill out the title there. If for some reason you don't see this, this properties pane, you need to go in here and select the properties and show the document panel. Of course, these values now will be visible. I'll put in the quote value there also. And of course I can type anything in here. This is rather cool. I can do the rand or I can do the lorem. Those are rather cool word features. So you notice that puts in example tests in your local language or in Latin. Anyhow, let's just close this now and save it. And of course, that's going to get saved now into the quotes document library, which is where I created it. So I'll call that quote one. And refresh that. And um, it's saving and it should be in there now. Ah, I'm showing the approved ones, of course. That's why I'm not seeing it. I'll go into the documents and there we see it, of course. And there, the, all my metadata is visible there too. So that's uh, rather powerful. And um, the thing to remember is it opens up in Word, not Word Online yet at least. And you might need to go into the file properties if you don't see this document information panel. So that concludes this demo on how to create your first document in a document library connected to a content type. Thank you for watching.